Imagine you're a golfer and have the opportunity to play alongside Tiger Woods. Imagine being a motor racing driver and being on the same team as Lewis Hamilton. Imagine being a tennis player and being on a doubles team with either Novak Djokovic or Serena Williams in a doubles final at Wimbledon. For the amateur in golf, motor racing and tennis, however good, this is the stuff of dreams. Teaming up with the best to compete for a sport's most cherished prize. In polo, it can become a reality. Amateur polo players can become patrons of a high goal team that includes top level professionals. They then rub shoulders with players such as Bella the Magic Buba, Abdumalik and Idris Badamasi, Babangida Hassan, Tiva Gross, Tom Debrain, Dirk van Rienen and Zombie Totezi. Polo's handicap system makes this possible. Players are rated by handicap, the novice being minus 2 and the best being 10. Patrons are generally 0 or 1, which enables them to employ two top players handicapped between 7 and 10 and one player with a medium handicap from 4 to 6. A patron no more weakens a team that does the patron of the opposition. A balance is struck and the patrons play their part. Patrons playing alongside seasoned veterans in polo teams might even be a welcome factor considering that players with varied skill sets playing together might perk up the team's performance. So in a 20-goal tournament, fielding a patron allows the team to play with a 10-goal player. No other team sport, except perhaps sailing, offers this opportunity. Patrice Mutsipe can buy the best footballers for Mamelodi Sundowns, but he's unlikely to be able to play for Sundowns, even though he owns the team. In polo, Alhaji Adamo Ata, patron of Fifth Chaka, can play alongside Cambiaso and help win the big prize. Once hooked, patrons have only one aim. It's all about winning. And in particular, it's about winning the sport's highest prizes. When you've got grand houses and private jets, there's no monetary prize that can tempt you. What you want is a piece of history. Polo is codependent on the professional athlete slogging it out on the field and the patron who, out of his sheer passion for the sport, invests his time and money into his team. The motivation for these patrons to invest in a sport with a minimal profit motive is to further their passion for the sport. Contributing financially for the team whilst playing the sport that one is passionate about in one's own very club team is simply furthering a hobby of theirs. For the patron, the return on investment is immaterial, either than the chance to win and lift trophies. For some of the patrons, it's their personal connect with Polo that motivates them to divert their financial funds, even when many advise them against doing so, claiming, and perhaps rightfully so, that an investment in some other sport would fetch them a better profit. The fact that there are patrons willing to foster the development of the sport is a beneficial factor, which is crucial for the sustenance of Polo today. Polo in Africa has its own polo patron.